is that? I don't know, and I don't think I want to be around to find out. Summer and no school. <laughs> well, I tell you, life doesn't get much better than this. Uh, perhaps I should rethink today's activities. immediately at the American weather station in the Aleutian Islands. Look to the right for directions to the nearest portal. Oh man, what a way to begin a vacation. Well, I guess being the mighty one does have certain responsibilities. <laughs> I hate it when this happens! <laughs> Verge, remind me to talk to you about the portals we've been using lately. Once again, you must save the world, mighty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the emergency this time, huh? Crazed ghouls, rabid llamas, three-toed sloths bent on world domination? The cold weather. Verge. Hello? We're in the Aleutians. What did you expect? Sand dunes and camels? A temperature drop is developing globally. Earth has been sent outside its orbit. And I believe the cause may originate here. Prepare yourself for the worst. We must be ready for anything. No one move or face the wrath of the Mighty One. Hello. Welcome to Weather Station Zebra Tango Niner. Can we help you? Phew. We got here just in time. Make yourselves at home. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, I... Oh, ooh, man. Your hands are like ice. Here, you can use my hand warmer. Go! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, but when you live in the Arctic for six months, you get used to feeling cold. Huh. Seems just fine to me. Very strange. I don't see anything strange. That is what is strange. Something is definitely wrong. Uh, guys, <laughs> this may sound like a silly question, but is everything all right here? Yeah, everything's fine. Except for maybe a little too much boredom. But I was so sure that impending doom was on the horizon. <laughs> Isn't that guy one of yours? Yeah, but he's crazy and dangerous. He's got to be stopped. Hurry. He went around the north side. We can still hit him off. You see? Something is wrong. I knew it. They're hiding something. I don't see him. Which way did they go? Over there. Something moved. I still don't see anything. How about you, Verge? Verge? You're not Verge? You can say that again, alien. 
Mighty one, Norman, wait for me. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought I was in real trouble there. You can't fool me. I know who you really are. You're the ice aliens. Look, I'm not an ice alien. I'm a red-blooded American kid. <laughs> you want to hear me sing the Star Spangled Banner? You can't fool me. You're ice aliens in the form of humans. But there's only one way to be absolutely sure you're ice aliens. I, uh, I hope you're not planning to put those where I think. Ice aliens have a body temperature that's sub-freezing. If you really are human, your temperature should read 98.6 instead of... 98.6? You are human! But I thought you were one of them, like the others. Y you mean the soldiers? They're all ice aliens? Look, I know it sounds bizarre, but once ice aliens capture a human, they can make themselves look just like that human. Oh, it sounds like a pretty reasonable explanation to me, but I gotta tell you, it would sound a lot more reasonable if we were untied. Oh, I'm sorry, but you can't be too careful. Now, how about doing my favorite song, Twist and Shout? Ah, ah, but I'm telling you the truth. I can prove it. Check my front pocket. They're photos of the others during the transformation. Oh, they're not very photogenic, are they? So, what made them come to the Aleutians? Couldn't find a room in Miami? The climate. They can only survive in freezing temperatures. They can't stand even a small amount of heat. Like a hand warmer. They're moving the Earth out of its orbit to create a permanent ice age. Then they'll have the whole planet to themselves. Yeah, well, if we're gonna stop them, we're gonna have to work together. Oh, no, Verge! I left them outside the compound with the ice aliens! The room the ice aliens kept off limits is just around the corner. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. You're not Virg, are you? What have you done with Virgil? <laughs> the same thing I'm about to do to you and your friends. Oh, my goodness, would you look at the time? Gotta go. Mom doesn't like me out past nine. I... He couldn't have gotten far. Hurry, over here. He must have gone out the window. Come on, if we hurry, we can still head him off. No, call off the search. But he'll get away. He'll freeze by morning. We can pick him up then. He'll just be doing our job for us. Should I board up the window? What for? It's finally getting kind of nice outside. They'd never leave. Only a fool would climb down there. Just wished I brought along an extra sweater. And I thought being the mighty one would be a glamour job. This is not exactly how I pictured my summer vacation. Ooh. Oh, man. Why'd I have to run into ice aliens? Why couldn't they be Florida aliens? <sighs> At least I could wind up with a tan out of this. Huh, not bad for a bunch of ice aliens. It has a certain je ne sais quoi. Wonder if they have an in-flight movie. Oh, swell. Looks like they have the air conditioner cranked up all the way. If it's even colder inside than outside. I'm surprised these ice aliens don't all have the sniffles by now. Hey, this must be how they're taking Earth out of its orbit. Oh, I hate it when ice aliens drop by unannounced.
Yeesh! No wonder they like to change their form. I mean, if I look like that, I wouldn't want to be seen in public either. A sight for sore eyes. You okay in there, Burge? I know he slept with his eyes open. At least I hope he's asleep. Hey, Burge, wake up! So you didn't freeze in the snow after all. Hey, what did you do with Verge, Verge? Ow! Ooh, man, you're cold. What'd you do? Fall asleep in the fridge? Pretty soon you'll be on ice. Whoa, chill out, dude! I love adventure banter. Verge, I'm sure glad you're alive, man. Thank you very much. That makes two of us. Now, exactly what is going on? Well, it's a really long story, but let's just say for a while there, you were foul under glass. Oh, look! Come on, I'll fill you in later. We still have to find the others. I hear something. Let me go or I'll rip out your spine and use it as a charm bracelet. I think we're getting close. I believe I understand now. The ice aliens can only remain human while they hold their subjects captive. Once freed, they revert back to their original form. What is that for? I think it's time we turn up the heat around here. It appears the ice aliens ignite when they rise above sub-freezing temperatures. Woo! Yeah, and they smell like old sneakers when they burn. Hey, funny running into you guys. I thought the ice aliens captured you. They did, but it's another matter holding me. What's wrong? How do I know you're not one of them? We've all been separated. Anything could have happened. That's true. And how do we know you're you? Why would I question you if I was one of them? Could just be a clever ploy to throw us off. Yeah, well, maybe you're questioning me. Questioning you is just a clever ploy to throw me off. What scares me is that almost makes sense. What do you think, Normie? I'm not even sure if I'm who I think I am. There's only one way to make sure who's real and who's an ice alien. Since the ice aliens can't stand heat, if any of us is an alien, he won't be able to stand the touch of my hand warmer. So, who's first? You, Verge. If you are Verge. Oh! An ice alien! Get him! Get him! Ah! I never trusted him with that beak. Oh, ouch! Hey, it is hot. I must have turned it up too high. You can let Verge go. He's not an ice alien. Sorry, nothing personal. Indeed. We'll have a long talk about this later. Come on, you guys, let's get out of here! time. Normie and I will look for the real soldiers. You two take care of the equipment that has taken Earth out of its orbit. Go ahead, Normie, and do what you do best. What are you doing? 
doing there? I just left you with Verge. Uh-oh. I just about have Earth back in orbit. Oh, I'd love to see the look on their faces when they find out what we did. What happened? There, I did it. Earth's back in its orbit. Perhaps this is not the best time to revel in my accomplishment, but... Uh... We've got to find Virgil before it's too late! You think they saw us? What are we going to do? There's no way out. It won't be long before the ice aliens come crashing through. Hold on to your mittens. There may be a way out after all. How? Trust him. He knows. He's the mighty one. Oh, uh, mighty great. One great. Him, yeah. I believe this equipment controls the temperature aboard the ship. I'm afraid there's no time to figure out how this stuff works. True. Moments like these call for drastic measures. I'm not leaving without that chicken. And I'm not leaving without the mighty one. I understand. Don't take too long. You see, Virgil? Help! Help! Hey, I'd know that familiar cluck for help anywhere. Hey, Virg! Help! Over there! Hold on, noble chicken. We'll save you. I am not a chicken. I'm a fowl. Yeah, well, you're gonna be barbecue if you don't hurry. needs to be saved, try calling 911, okay? Oh, but you did a wonderful job, Mighty One. You should be very proud. Oh, yeah, really proud. Look at me, Virgil. I'm covered with frostbite. Uh, I, I can't even feel my toes. Maybe I'll just move and get an unlisted number and a really big dog to keep away unwelcome guests. <laughs> so, Virg, what kind of dog are you most afraid of? Um, you know, just out of curiosity. Oh, <laughs> <Cat> Vera. <laughs> How true. No, no, really. Maybe I should consider retirement. I mean, I could get my own place, uh, maybe open a little restaurant. Hey, how about the Mighty One Bed and Breakfast? What do you think? This week, we went to the Aleutian Islands, which are part of Alaska, America's largest and northernmost state. The U.S. bought Alaska from the Russians in 1867 for $7,200,000. Oh man, for that price, most NBA teams could draft the entire state of Alaska and still remain under the salary cap. See you next week! <laughs> <laughs>